in case you didn't know it, I love Italian food. And each year, I look forward to October because it is National Italian American Heritage Month. And we're talking lots of festivals and lots of tasty foods. And this morning, speaking of food, I have two very special guests, Chef Sarah Moulton, who is an expert, of course, and Michael Cruz, who is an expert with Columbus Foods. Welcome back. Thank you very much. I got to tell you. Yep. I've been on a diet since the last time you guys came. <laughs> All I keep on eating is salami, salami, salami. Why okay. not? And I love salami, and this time you've really got a nice twist to it. Yeah, no, we do. I mean, these are such simple hors d'oeuvres, but they're just really perfect for entertaining, and they're so easy to make. And what we love about salami, and we're talking about artisan salami today, is that it provides nice salt and uh, sometimes a little bit of spice and a nice depth of flavor. Oh, you're not kidding. Yes. And let me tell you, Michael, yeah. you have been with us already several times. Uh -huh. We've enjoyed yeah, your company. Thank you very much. I appreciate we have enjoyed that. his salami too. <laughs> and this one's a bit different. Tell me about it. Well, this one, actually, this is called cacciatore. Do you know what cacciatore means? No. Cacciatore you means hunter in Italian. So it's a hunter sausage. So this is all very traditional artisan, which means that it's handmade with a lot of art, a little bit of science, and a lot of a lot of right here. Wow. So it's a lot of soul. A lot of soul, a lot of passion. Did and you know why that? was it called the hunter? Why is it Well they actually take them, it, it's just like when they would go out on a hunt. So they cut off little pieces of this little salami so they could go out and go hunting and you know so this be was out their for a long time. It was their sustenance. Sort of like jerky. Just like beef okay, jerky. There you exactly. go. And the taste is really amazing. I had never tried it and I absolutely love it. You actually took it a step further and why the cantaloupe? Oh let me show you a very <laughs> simple <laughs> hors d'oeuvre. I'm so glad you asked. Okay, so you've heard of melon and prosciutto. Yes. But now we're going to do melon and salami, which is takes it to a whole different level. Very simple. We've got some uh, little uh, slices, and this is finocchione. Finocchione. And why is it called that? Well, it actually finocchione is means fennel mm -hmm. in Italian. So there's we put little fennel seeds in so the salami. Slight anise well. taste. Just a slight, yeah, okay, so then right. we. This is so complicated. I don't know if you can follow. <laughs> um, so there we go. There's some nice ripe cantaloupe melon. You could certainly use honeydew. Hey, you know watermelon would be fabulous okay. in this too. I'll take the um, cantaloupe. Watermelon and, and um, if melons, which are sweet and salty, salami is perfect. And then that is it. That's Boom, it. done. And look at that. You can drizzle it with a little bit of a, you know the artisanal balsamic if you want, or mm -hmm. reduce the balsamic. It's yummy. I love it. Something sweet, something uh, salty, and something pretty. Right. Yes, Amazing. fresh mint. Fresh okay, mint. You can next. use basil too. Okay, next. This is this I love. This is served hot. It's a date stuffed with Parmigiano mm. Reggiano, wrapped with we picked this, the hot soprasada. Oh, there's a hot one, which happens to be Michael's favorite. Mm. It is. It, it is my absolute favorite. There right you go. behind you. And right. then you just bake it, and it all becomes sort of yummy, oozy thing together. And then, last but not least, we have the cacciatore salami here with a uh, orange and uh, red onion marmalade. Oh my goodness. So you just cook it down, it's got onions and red wine vinegar and yum. Oh there my you go. gosh, amazing. Yes, and that is it. So that is it. three really simple hors d'oeuvres. I just want to know who's going to take the salami home. I think you need to. <laughs> That's the finocchio, finocchiona. finocchiona. There we go. Okay. Too much fun with you guys. All right, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning Thanks red. You are the best and um, well, let's all grab Good one try. as I tell yes, everybody yes, yes, what yes. to do when it comes to finding out about this fabulous salami and to learn more about Columbus Foods and for some tasty recipes, go to columbussalami.com. That's columbussalami.com. And if you have some salami recipes you'd like to share with us, visit us on Facebook. <laughs> visit our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you. Can you tell I'm blushing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs>